Alright guys, today, as put requested by Mr. Magnetoscope, I will be showing my Panasonic NV870 VCR. This is a an old series of VCR. Oh, that's a print, yeah, it's an issue. There we go. You may have to hear that, but that's a known issue with his VCR, which is why I stopped using it as my main VCR. But there's some controls under here. This is a hi-fi stereo VCR. You can see hi-fi audio and you can program the clock and it has the tape three button on the front which I very much like. And it has all the usual controls. It even has a slow control. And this F add v ADV button means frame advance. And, and the front was kind of falling off, but I fixed that with a bit of packing tape. And now with that, oh, it even has all your, it even has all your level controls. And now you get to see the inside. This seems to have a um, a really old Panasonic mechanism, and it was. And this seems to be the same mechanism as in a few other VCRs, like my um, like my Quasar top loader in there. You might not be able to see it, but I have a Quasar top loading VCR. Sorry for that interruption. But getting back to what I was saying, this is a really old mechanism, similar, and I have a VCR with a similar mechanism to this. And it uses just a idler tire. Yeah, just an idler tire, no gear idler. But it's still good. So that's not much of an issue. This even has a belt for the loading tray. And this is a forehead hi fi VCR. Still has the mono audio head. And I guess I'll show you the back, the bottom side. And that's the bottom side. this mechanism it has a metal plate over it and here is the idler and the bottom side of it and there's another motor and that would appear to be the mode switch which is a unique style but I'll set this back on for now I'll take it back off when I show the bottom side in action and I'll compare it to another Quasar VCR of mine in another video. But enough of that. I'll put in a tape. Yep, I turned it off. Oh, yeah, that happens sometimes. This is a big. Really Hold on, let me get the tape in. Okay, I got the tape in, and now we'll put play. And this is what it looks like, it's playing. This is an SLP tape. And I've used this tape in um, another previous video of mine. It's the video head. Now, you have to hold it to get it to forward search. As soon as you release, it just goes back. Now here's a reverse search. Once again, you have to hold it. If you press play, no, there's no double speed function, but there's a slow function. First press pause and then press the slow function. 
Actually, I don't know how that's done. But pause it and press the F advance button. And it goes forward by only a frame. But let's press play. Ugh. To unpause it. I know. Side note, I really hate VCRs where not where if you pause it, you have to specifically use either the play or press pause again. It seems like it would be a better design to have it be both unpaused by either pre have it unpaused by doing either pressing play or pressing pause again. But enough of that, here's a stop. Now, here's a fast forward. And because it's an 80s VCR, it's not going to be very fast. Now we wind. Now we'll stop. Now I'll we'll eject. Oh! Real quick, I forgot to show you the back side. So, I'll just turn it around. There's the RF outputs, and then the UHF outputs. I don't know what this says. It says auxiliary, but that looks more like a, that looks like a, that looks more like a DIN 5 connector than anything else to me. And then there's this odd port, which says TV MPX out. Then there's the channel 3 and 4 switch. Then, then, some other strange input. And then the, the, RC, the RCA inputs and outputs. And since this is a Hi-Fi VCR, you get, you also get the red connector. You don't normally see that on old VCRs. Yeah. Okay, I've moved the VCR to another place. You probably recognize this place with that big screen TV over there. Okay, it's actually a computer monitor, but I just use it like a TV. And one stupid thing, another thing, is that if the VCR is off, the, the, tape, the tape won't go in. Usually a VCR will just turn itself on if you try to put it in when it's a tape in when it's turned off, but on this one, it will refuse to go in. And uh, hold on. Uh, there we go. Now we use the bottom side in action. You can see everything moving. And now is the forward search. Now is the reverse search. Pause. Frame advance. Unpause. You can see that it does indeed move. And now I stop. Now I'll go hook this up to that TV back there and show you the video quality. Okay, one more thing before we get to the video quality. Here is the loading motor up close. And here it is ejecting up close. Here is the carriage up close. Here is it loading up close. Now here is it, here is it unloading up close. 
And now, ejecting up close once again. All right, now let's actually get to the video party. All right, I got the VCR hooked up and it's on my TV there. I've already put my tape in here, so press the play button. And there's no on-screen display, so. There we go. Let me forward search. Actually, okay, now we're there. And that is maybe, and it's not, it does a big line between it, and you can hear it's buzzing. But I think that can be fixed with by tracking it. Hold on. Um, okay, but it's not like this is a main VCR anyway. It could be just a head cleaning, but I mean, if I turn off the hi fi. It'll probably be fine if I turn off the hi fi audio. But I think I've messed enough. That is the end of this video. And. I shall say goodbye.